All right, I'm going to be uh, unboxing my March Watch Gang Platinum subscription right here. And this is a watch that I got through Facebook Marketplace that I was uh, just trying to see if I could find something that I like for similar money to what I'm paying for Platinum and how it compares to what I got for Platinum this month. So I know what watch is in there. I don't know what's in here. So let's find out. We got the add insert here for wheel spins and a Blackwell watch. Let's see what we got here. We got a MSRP of $740. So that's probably patently untrue. Big plush boxes. Quite a bit of weight to this box. Oh, it flaps down. Kind of nice presentation as far as the outer box to the inner box is concerned. And we've got a steel band skeleton watch. got a branded band oh the hang tag is stopping it from functioning maybe or maybe I just don't know how to use a band like this at any rate we got 24 jewels Screw down crown. Automatic, obviously. There is no digits or Roman numerals or Arabics or whatever on the face of this watch. There is indices at all 12 hours no date ah movement hacks not certain what the movement is we got a SKU number BW SE one zero two six five dash C. really confused about this clasp it appears like it's supposed to come on out of there there it goes oh it's got a little friction snap purely operator error there now the hang tags in the way of everything let's get that off of there
trying to see if I can find a movement number or anything on this NH70A. Maybe the movement number. Seems fairly big. I'm guessing around 43 millimeters. That's a pretty good guess. <laughs> Thickness oh, 14. Ah, 13. I don't know about this one. A lot of hard angles on the case. Well, see if it comes close to fitting. Looks like all the links are on the band. A little bit loose. Probably lose maybe two links on there. Fairly, fairly small links. It doesn't look terrible. The box is like all suede. Kind of feels like something from a bygone era. And all that's in the box, other than some of that yummy stuff, is the international guarantee and retailer watch gang, no date of purchase. So about two weeks before, whenever it breaks, I guess. Huh. Might as well leave that in there. All right. Well, I don't know if I'll wear this watch. I might try it a couple days. See how it tells time and post that up in there. I don't know if the, the bracelet's that stiff or if it's because it's still in the plastic, but it stands almost circular on its own. And then let's uh, let's see what I got for, I think a $120 ship, but I would have to confirm that. This was a uh, 160.87 was my total to purchase this watch. And this watch, same price. I paid for three months of platinum at 50% plus taxes and maybe shipping, I'm not sure. Uh, totaled out to 160.87 per month. Andrew, enjoy the DB. Thanks, Keith. Thank you, Keith, for the deal. <clears throat> I'm not going to need that anymore. So we got a Deep Blue Master 1000 automatic 300M 1000 feet. Bezel rotates one direction only. Uh, got the helium relief valve, I suppose. That's for some stuff that I'll never be doing with the watch. And then, uh, NH35A movement with a open back. It's uh, quite thick. But that, that dial is pretty beautiful. 
I can't remember what the the case width is on this. Just measure the bezel here. 45. And then the thickness, that's gotta be about 17, maybe 16. 16 millimeters thick. So it's bigger in both directions than this, which I tend to favor a, a thinner watch, but it's not ridiculous. A lot more round going on with this. Nice small little date window in there. I like the big triangle at 12 o'clock. We'll pop this guy on. I feel quite a bit better with that on my wrist, even though it's larger than, than with this fella. All in all, for $150, I, I mean, I don't know what it would cost to just buy one and know what you're getting, but this doesn't seem like a terrible watch I got from Watch Gang. I don't know if the movement says SII, so it must be a genuine article there, I guess. That abalone looks sweet. not real big into the skeleton things plus with this there's so much going on you really can't see anything you can see the pallet fork kind of bouncing back and forth in there and you can see the outer edge of the balance but you can't see you know gears you can see the edge of a gear here and the it's just not that skeletonized to warrant being all about being a skeleton watch, I guess. Yeah, that's a... Out of these two, if they cost the same money, I'm still going to go for that deep blue. And in my case here, the deep blue was cheaper. No box, but it looks like it came with everything that would have been in the uh, box. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Looks like he sent along a, uh, a strap. A little nylon. I would assume strap cool green color came on this nice thick leather strap Got a tag here deep blue precision diver bluewatches.com removed before diving Thank you for your purchase. Little deep blue advertisement card. The international guarantee card. No, uh, no mention of a retailer on that card. Instruction manual and warranty. Uh, covers a few different models, it looks like. Kind of nicely printed, full color, and got a little gloss to it without being hard to read. Not so glossy, it's hard to read.
and then a little polishing cloth. Yeah, like I said, for my money, I'd go for that deep blue, and and it was cheaper, so for less of my money, even. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get these closed up and pop out my scope and get up in here and see what this stuff looks like. Testing the black well here. And it's got a half a millisecond of beat error, looks like. And gaining about 12 seconds a day in that position. Looks like it flattened out a little bit. Going to 9 o'clock facing up. Or 12 o'clock facing up, sorry. Still a bunch of beat air, but not a great deal of uh, time lost or gained. I would say not awful timekeeping, but the Beat error could certainly be quite a bit better. The movement in this watch is a NH35A, which does indeed have hacking and a date. Nice small little window for the date, I like that. So I just gave it a bit of wind. Should be pretty much fully wound. And we'll clear this out. All right, now that I've wasted a bunch of my time there. Okay, we are losing a lot of time. Pretty much the same in all positions, losing around a minute a day, which uh, I should be able to get that a little closer. Less beat error than on the uh, Blackwell. Better put 
put that back in this thing before I lose it forever. My final thoughts on these two watches I got, the Blackwell and the Deep Blue. Uh, the Deep Blue is used, and uh, as such, it seems to not be keeping the best time at current. But uh, I can regulate this myself, unless there's something wrong with it. And I doubt that. It's not like it's a 10-year-old watch or anything. And it's not all beat up. So it probably just needs a little bit of regulation and that's something that I can do. It might take me some time. I don't have a whole lot of experience, but I can do it. And uh, the Blackwell just doesn't seem to be for me. And it seems to me like your money is better spent if you just find what you want, buy it, save for it if you need to. And uh, you know, don't rely on you might get something pretty cool if you sign up for this subscription. And I would guess that this watch, if I were to try to sell it on eBay, I'd probably be lucky to get like a hundred dollars out of it. And <clears throat> most platinum subscribers I'm sure are paying $300 a month or pretty close to it. I got this for, like I said, 160. So it's not terrible for me. But I definitely wouldn't be very pleased with something like that for uh, uh, $300 a month or $300 per watch. Uh, unless they really wow me with the third month. My first month I don't hate. My second month I probably never pull the plastic off of that thing. It'll sit in that box until I decide I'm going to just get rid of it. Maybe I'll wear it. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. But uh buy what you like. 